Right, today we're going to look at how the conservation of energy can help us accurately figure out what velocity things will fall at. So we have our little science nerd here, and our little science nerd is going on a field trip to the Burj Khalifa to do some base jumping. He's going to jump off, all right? Don't ask me why. Now, the conservation of energy is a very important law in our universe. Conservation of energy. Now, it states that energy cannot be destroyed or created. It just changes form. Now, our little science nerd up here has lots of gravitational potential energy. This is the amount of energy gained from moving away from a gravitational field source like the Earth. Basically moving away from the floor. And when he jumps, he's going to turn that energy into kinetic energy. This is the energy of moving things. Something with mass that is moving has kinetic energy. Now, gravitational potential energy, uh, you'll get the equation sheet in the exam, is calculated as mass times gravity times height. Kinetic energy is calculated as half times the mass times the velocity squared. Now, if you know a little bit about maths, you can see that we don't need to be times on both sides by m on either side, so these two m's will cancel. Now, we're looking to figure out what speed he's going to hit. So we can figure out, if we do a little rearranging, if we move v squared over this side, times that by a uh, 2 to get it to whole, we will get a 2 times g times h, and if we even get rid of that, we can figure out V straight off the bat. So, V is calculated as 2 times the gravity, the gravitational field times the height. Mass doesn't matter. All things fall at the same speed on Earth. Okay, obviously we're ignoring air resistance. So, V here is equal to 2 times the gravitational field strength of Earth, which is 10 GCSE. And the Burj Khalifa is roughly 850 meters tall. So we're going to square all that. This answer here will give us approximately, well, it will give us 17,000. The velocity will end up being 41.23 meters per second. So if he jumps and falls 850 meters, he will fall and land with 41.23 meters per second as he converts all of his gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. Poor fella.